guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i post videos every week so if that interests you then please consider subscribing today i'm doing this beautiful jade nail set so if you would like to see how i did it then just keep on watching So I'm starting the prep the same as usual. I'm going in with my cuticle pusher, pushing the cuticles back, and then I'm gonna remove the shine and any excess dead skin off of the nail plate with my sanding band and cuticle bit, both with my e-file at 5,000 rotations per minute. So now I'm just brushing off the nails and then spraying them with alcohol and brushing them off to remove any excess dust. And then I'm going in with my dehydrator and primer. I am using the dehydrator by XVX and the Young Nails Protein Bond. And don't ask about my brush, I have no idea what happened to it. <laughs> So after I find an extension size for each of my nails, I'm just going to go in, etch them, and then I also apply primer on the underneath side of the extension. So after I go in with a layer of extend gel on the natural nail, I'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds and then get the extension, apply a little bit of extend gel underneath and then apply it at a 45 degree angle and flash cure with my XVX hands free lamp. So after curing all the nails for the full time, then I go in to finish file and I'm just using my 100-100 grit file to perfect the shape and then I'm going to go in with my e-file with my sanding band and just remove the shine off of the entire nail as well as perfect the cuticle area. Thank you. 
So after I'm finished filing, I'm just going to brush them off and then I'm going to wipe them down with a wipe dipped in acetone. And these are the colors that I'm going to use. I'm using three gel paints from Young Nails as well as a regular polish by Rosalind. And then I'm just going to mix it to create different hues as well as the Ameli Blooming Gel. For the first layer, I'm just randomly drawing on white lines on each of the nails in different shapes. And for the middle and the ring finger, they are going to be clear at the tips, so I'm just keeping that in mind. And after wiping them all, I'm just going to go in with a brush dipped in acetone and kind of like feather them out a little bit, um, but not making them all the same.
So for this layer, I'm going in with another um, gel paint by Young Nails and I'm just gonna go over the entirety of the nail. I believe this color is called Clash and I'm just brushing that on and I'm curing in between every layer. So after I did the white, I cured that and then after I do this layer, I'm curing that and then I'm gonna go in with the next layer. And I forgot I was doing these tips clear so I have to go back and wipe this off. So now for this Roslyn polish, um, I'm just doing two different drops. One I'm going to leave alone, the other I'm going to add some white to just to make it a lighter tone. Um, I didn't really have but this one shade of green in my whole collection, surprisingly, other than like olive. Um, so I'm just creating different shades of it since I don't want it to be all the same green. I want different layers, different textures, and different shades of green all throughout. No two jade crystals or any crystals are ever going to be exactly the same. So whenever you find a set that you really like, you can use it as inspo, but it's never going to turn out exactly like that. Um, just because there's so much different depth and dimension, it's not really possible to replicate the exact same thing. Um, but so here I'm just trying to sponge it out. And like I said, none of them are going to be the same. So keep that in mind. Like, Don't try to do the same thing on every single finger. Um, and after I sponge these out i'm gonna go back in and just clean up around the cuticle area as well as cure them for the full time like i said we're curing in between every layer and then i'm gonna go in with the next layer So this next layer is the blooming gel. After I apply that on all five nails, I'm gonna just go directly in with the white gel paint and a detailing brush. Um, the blooming gel is just gonna help the white polish feather out on its own so that way I don't have to use the brush dipped in acetone. It just gives it like a different look than when you do it that way. So I was kind of trying to create all different types of depth and dimension. So I did a lot of different methods and different layers. Um, but as you see here, when I apply it, like after you let it sit for a second, it just kind of feathers out on its own in a different way than the brush dipped in acetone would do.
So now I'm just going in with a layer of the In Hype Milky White Polish. And it's just gonna like meld everything together without taking away from all the layers that I've already done. So here I'm just going in random splotches with the darker green layer. I started off with the little detailing brush, but then I just kind of added like bigger spots with it. And then same thing, just gonna blend those out. All right, so the last layer I did here, I'm just using some marble ink. I did make this myself out of a Sharpie marker. If you wanna see that um, and how I did that, then just comment down below. So I'm just rubbing that on randomly. Um, it does look a little blue, but that's fine. Um, it's still actually a green, and we do want different shades, different hues of green in here to make it appear actually real. Um, I definitely recommend actually looking at a real crystal um, I used three small jade crystals that I had as well as my jade bracelet, um, but more so the bracelet because I liked how that looked a little better. Um, and then now I'm just going in for the accents with the gold foil. And since I did use acetone to clean up the Sharpie, um, some of the tacky layer is not still there. So for any areas like that, I'm just going in with extend gel and then patting it down and I'm outlining the clear area on these two and then I'm just going to put random little specks throughout all the nails.
All right, so now finally uh, we're done with all the layers. I'm just going in with um, some top coat. I'm using the IBD gel top coat and I do do two layers of this. Um, so when I'm going over the foil, I'm just kind of like dabbing it on there and then floating it over just so it doesn't move out of place. Since like I said, there wasn't a tacky layer on every spot and I don't want it to move. Um, so after I do two layers of that, then I'm gonna go in with my needle nose bit um, and just drill off the number on the underside of the two nails that have the clear accent. And then I'm just gonna top coat underneath as well just to make sure they're super shiny. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think down below. I think it turned out so pretty. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.